Ah, um, yeah, it, uh, Blue Goose, it's, um... It's, I, I like, I, 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 I know, um... Like, I, I know what the issue is with my mouse. It's, uh, it's just got, I think it's got a bit of, it's either got some dust in or just, just had it. Cause it's, it's definitely a physical thing as opposed to a, uh, like a tech issue. But I appreciate the uh, the attempt, because <laughs> yeah, it's uh, whenever you have like issues. I mean, internet issues are by far the worst issues in the world, right? I think that's something that we can all be like, yeah, Benny, that's right. That is damn damn right. I would say hard issues. <laughs> all right, all right. When it comes to your computer, when it comes to your computer. Yeah, they do cost a good chunk. I certainly do. Actually, do you know what I found really annoying recently? Every time Windows updates, my sound doesn't work anymore. Proper annoying. Proper annoying. Okay, I got both my deer packs, which is good. It's a lot of wolves that I will struggle to kill, actually. So that's annoying. Uh, we'll go for this. Yeah, like, what was my con deal? He's so slow. He's so slow at killing them. Yeah, so mo most of the time when I get a Windows update, I'm just like, please don't. Please. Which is probably not how it should be, I reckon. Mate, I actually spent like a, a year killing those two wolves and it, it almost fucked up my Khan. Almost fucked up my Khan. Look, we got some proper dudes now to kill some shit. Yeah. Sick. Uh, I'm not even sure if I was closer or not, but uh, we'll take it, we'll take it. That's a real fast uh, age up by him. That's a real fast age up by him. I want to find out uh, what landmark and stuff he went for. 
Kremers. You hate playing against Mongol? Hmm, interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, it can be very, very annoying, but uh, it is one of those things that's worth learning how to play against. And if you feel it's because you don't know how they work, it will definitely help you in the long run to figure out how they work. Definitely will. Oh, what the fuck? So I'm a different dude. So he's going to go for a second TC, as am I. You could actually get this as well, which could be kind of cool, actually. Very good food and... <laughs> Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. So this will boost it by 22.5%. Um, now, I'm actually going to put the Deer Stones there, I'll put the tower there. It's much better to do boost my uh, wood for speed-wise, because that's the one that takes the longest to walk to. This one, not too bad. So I think he's, I do think he's gone for a second TC, but... Boys. I think I'm a wuss. Oh, 
We're a triple TC cowboy. An anonymous gifter with a gift. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Anonymous or Miss Anonymous. Whoever you may be. If we get, uh, quote-unquote, too much wood, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, we will just kind of uh, make sure that we get a really good standing army together. But we're after. So I probably will have to run these away in a second, but... Not the biggest deal. So what is... I was going for all the relics. We have a really big eco. Bloody was, right in the corner. Okay. I didn't expect it to be there. Now this will be interesting. Oh, shut up, 
Because, yeah, I don't often get to play or don't often choose to play Mongol, but I do think Mongol is still very, very good. Regardless of whether I choose to play it or not. But I am curious as to what his uh, eco situation is like, you know, because as is obviously not bad, as obviously not bad. Mm, we'll make a few of these. Actually, a few men at arms just to spice it up a bit. He can do the, um, you know, I was about to say, call to arms stuff, but, uh, Shadow, 
It's a true macro. It's a true macro. Um, Mongol style. We'll start getting ready to tower up over here as well. I mean, I will need wood actually. And I guess eventually we can get some nice eco flowing. And let's get the uh, stupa. I put that there just in case some sheep are wandering over and we kill them, you know what I mean? That's always a bit annoying, but we're on 120 odd workers now. Fantastic, we've got maximum upgrades as well. Absolutely maximum upgrades. And I, I, I do like the idea of protecting this with a few towers, you know, just to make it good. Geologist Rock with a Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you, matey. Thank you very much. And we will uh, yeah, just uh, confirm that we're in a pretty good shape here. Lots of gold. We'll get... Uh, Ooh. I like it, I like it. My eco is actually uh well the fuck I can hit that over. That's kinda of funny. And also slightly ridiculous. Um... Ooh, let's go! for this as well. Oh. This was... This was the macro mongol. This was the macro Mongol. So here we're getting ready to switch into a lot of traders for gold because I've got basically one or two golds left on my side of the map. So we, we know he's been playing quite defensive this game. We're up to soon to be 3-3 three, three, uh, horsemen, elite horsemen, which are massive, right? 
Um, he's just hit age three or age four. He does have a lot of farms. Like, that's a lot of farms. He was on three TC too. Cool. I didn't even know. We'll have a look at the eco though, comparatively, because I hit my three TC pretty quick. Ah, okay. He hit it much later. Like when when he when we hit age three. That's when he just about got his uh, H his third TC. So we hit our three TCs very quick, about here, when he's on two TC, two TC, three TC. But we'll look at the eco. Yeah, even with even with every relic on the map, we're still just absolutely boomed out of control. Absolutely boomed out of control. He did end up with a similar count of workers, but. Mm. Interesting game, interesting game.